Okay, so this is um, an introduction to the three main parts of the argument, the three constituent elements of argumentation that we'll be looking at. So we're going to be looking at, um, as we'll see, the premises of arguments, the nature of inferences, and we'll be interested in identifying conclusions. So the premises of the argument are basically the assumptions or the starting points for your argument. The premises are the things that we can sort of take for granted as uh, good starting points. So here premises of course are either true or they're false. Uh, sometimes it'll be a bad idea to accept some premises and sometimes it's good. So why why would you accept some uh, presuppositions or starting points over others? Well, you might doubt that they are true. Simple as that. So we don't want to ground our arguments or start our arguments from false premises. Now, when you're reading other people's arguments or when you're developing an argument of your own, you might want to say, well, what exactly does the argument assume? So. Um, now, often the, the argument will explicitly state its premises, and that's convenient, that's good. Usually, the premises or the assumptions of an argument are hidden. Um, sometimes they're hidden because the person making the contention doesn't want you to see what the premises are. Perhaps they're objectionable in some sense. Maybe they're obviously false or at least questionable. Sometimes um, the reasons for the, arg the premises being hidden are more benign. Maybe they, they're just implicit in almost any discussion. Maybe these are things that all people would accept. So just because the premises aren't explicitly stated doesn't mean that the, um, the person making the argument has some bad reason for, for hiding the premises. They might just be Kind of basic common sense assumptions that anyone would share. So we'll be looking for premises as we as we begin thinking about arguments and unpacking assumptions is is a large part of, of what's involved in critical thinking. So thinking through what is it that this um, the person making the argument assumes that's going to be a part of part of what you do here. Next is inference. So inference is relatively, it's probably an, a new thing for, for most uh, folks taking this a course like this for the first time. And an inference is basically the steps or the moves in an argument. They're what takes you from the start, from the assumptions, to the conclusion. So the Inferences are the ways we make moves within an argument. So an argument's just not an, a statement of, of some fact, let's say, or, or an assertion. An argument moves us from where we start to the contention, or ideally it should. So remember, the point of arguments really is to convince a, to convince an audience of some proposition maybe the person making the argument wants you to do something and in order for you to uh, be motivated to do that or to take that action uh, you'll need to believe something and so the the proponent of the argument then is presenting it with the intention of committing you or convincing you to some proposition so What's that final proposition? Well, we call that the conclusion or the main contention of an argument. So the conclusion or the main contention of the argument is what the argument is designed to get you to, to, to agree to. Um, now, sometimes an argument doesn't have a clear conclusion or contention. This is, of course, a problem. Uh, sometimes it's difficult to identify exactly what the conclusion or main contention of the argument is. So sometimes the conclusion is hidden, as we, and we'll see some cases where what we're going to have to do is unpack and find out exactly what it is that the argument is designed to, to contend, or what it, the conclusion actually is. Sometimes it's not clear. So those are the three main parts or the three main features of arguments that we'll be looking at. 
um, in this section. So the main parts of the argument again are the premises, or these are the assumptions, then the conclusion, the finishing point, the, the stop, the, the main purpose of the argument, and then the movement between the starting point and the conclusion. And these are the inferences, those are the moves that bring us to the conclusion if the argument is successful.